Welcome back to NBC Weather Plus. Temperatures are unseasonably warm across the majority of the country today. The warm weather may not be good news for skiers, but it is providing a great opportunity to head outside and winterize your vehicle. Here's Asa Ahrens of our Weather Plus affiliate WNBC in New York City with some ways to keep your car in tip-top shape this winter season. Tire and car design have really come a long way in keeping... Welcome back to NBC Weather Plus. We've been following the Front Range blizzard now for almost two days as it remains stationary over much of Colorado. Check out some of these highway cams as we head just south of Cheyenne. Absolute whiteout conditions. I-25 south of Cheyenne at 12.05 this afternoon, Mountain Standard Time. You can barely even make out this street sign there. And if you're heading further east, it's more of an ice storm along Highway 26 in Ash Hollow, Nebraska. This camera can't even make it out because this is a glaze of ice along the whole camera. This was taken at 104 this afternoon. Further to the east, less ice, but still accumulating. This is in North Platte, Nebraska, I-80 at the US 83 intersection. Check out these icicles here. There's the road, and then these are icicles covering the rest of the cam. So if you're out today, please be careful traveling. If you can do it, wait to travel tomorrow. Well, winter officially arrives next week, and along with colder temperatures comes the dreaded flu. Some people are still waiting to get their flu shots. But as Dr. Deanna Lights of our Weather Plus partner WHDH in Boston explains, if you find yourself getting sick before getting your shot, you might want to try some alternative treatment. No one wants to be sidelined with the aches and pains of... I'm James Brady for NBCSports.com. It's time for some NFL football. Week two of the playoffs, AFC Divisional Playoffs, heading into Baltimore, Maryland, as we fly over downtown Baltimore to M&T Bank Stadium. Coming into the picture here, the Indianapolis Colts will be in town, taking on the Baltimore Ravens Saturday, 4.30 Eastern time is your kickoff. 54 degrees is your kickoff temperature. Expect mostly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of rain, so you might want to bring that poncho as we take a look at the rest of the game. From halftime to the fourth quarter, some of those rain showers might be thunderstorms, so hold on to that poncho because you're going to have to check that umbrella in at the door if you bring one of those. The NFC Divisional Playoffs on Saturday, New Orleans, Louisiana. Philadelphia coming off a win, beating those New York Giants. Flying in to take on the New Orleans Saints. What a great story this year. Recently rebuilt Superdome. Eagles Saints Saturday, 7 o'clock. Central Time, 70 degrees outside if you didn't get a ticket to go inside to watch the game. And as far as we're concerned, beautiful weather, mild for the rest of the game. Mostly cloudy skies, but a nice mild evening to watch some football in Louisiana. And then we head to Sunday, staying with the NFC Divisional Playoffs. Chicago, Illinois, different story compared to New Orleans. The Seattle Seahawks will be flying in to take on the Chicago Bears as we fly you in across from Lake Michigan into downtown Chicago. Soldier Field, Seahawks, Bears, Sunday. Noon Central Time, 31 degrees is your kickoff temperature, but those temperatures are going to be feeling in the teens with the wind chill being a big factor in the game, as well as some light snow showers. I'm James Brady with NBC Weather Plus, and it's time for your Thursday forecast. And this morning's lows across the Northeast Ohio Valley, Eastern Ohio Valley, 30s and 40s across much of the region, New York City, Washington, D.C., Norfolk, all in the low to mid 40s. So a nice mild start for you this Thursday morning. Our future cast is going to show mostly sunny skies with a little bit of a mix of clouds into the area. There may be some showers to the north as a weak low pressure system moves across the northern Great Lakes. But it's going to be an absolutely beautiful fall day in the Big Apple. 61 degrees in New York City, D.C., Pittsburgh as well. Partly sunny skies, absolutely beautiful, way above average, a good 10 degrees or more above average. Norfolk, you're at 65 as well. Cincinnati, you're still in the 60s. And then 50s across much of the rest of the region. Well, of course, Caribou always a little bit cooler on this spot of the map at 39 degrees. Friday, much of the same. New York trying to get to that 60 mark. Again, 59 is your expected high. 63 degrees in our nation's capital. 66, another sunny day in Norfolk. And then some 40s move into the region. 44 in Detroit, 47 in Buffalo, and 49 in Burlington. Enjoy it while it lasts because winter's around the corner. And don't forget to check me out tomorrow for the next day's forecast. For NBCWeatherPlus.com, I'm James Brady.